Hi. So today was wonderful. I got my um, NIMC, the National ID card, done, and it was pretty easy. I went in at 8 and came out at 8.30. So like my day, I could do like every other thing. Anyway, so today I want to talk about the three mistakes I think people make with online dating, in my opinion, of course. So I think the first one is people treat online dating like it's so different from offline dating. And it's kind of the same thing. You know, you're still meeting the same people. It's just meeting individuals. So it's not that different. So one thing people do online, I think um, one mistake people make is being too specific with what you want. I understand that you have um, a specific idea of a person you want, but you have to realize that it's not a person being created in a factory. So these are people that exist already. So when someone comes to our platform and they're like, I want an evil man, that's above 40, he has never been married. Some things don't tally there. So a lot of the Igbo men above 40 have been married. So it puts that in a little pile. Like, you know, the list is now really small. So the list is now really small. So it's not even a tribe thing. You know, even if it's Yoruba, Igbo, Hausa, you want a guy above 45 and that has never been married and doesn't have any kids, it's a really little pile. You know, there are people that fit in there because majority of the people, you know, just statistics wise, majority of the people above 40 have been married. And it's the same way for a lady as well. If you want a lady, you say I want a lady that's above 40, doesn't have any kids, never been married. It's tough as well because majority of the ladies above 40 have been married. You know, so we work with, well, I'm a statistician, so we work with statistics a lot. And find that you can find more ladies above 40 that have never been married than you can find more men. And then when it comes to tribe as well, there are differences too in that. So that's why being too specific might hurt your chances in meeting someone online. But another thing I think people make mistakes is putting so much emphasis on pictures. People can look different, you know, based on their situation. So people just don't take good pictures. And that's why we subsidize on Lagos Matchmaker and we can offer, you know, our services in that aspect. But don't focus too much on pictures because, I mean, I saw a picture of a celeb before and after the money and the looks were very different. There's some of you that wouldn't date certain people in their 10 years before pictures. You know, even with our whole 10 years challenge pictures, some of them are really appalling, like, like what's going on here? So don't judge too much with pictures. Realize that people can look different, you know, with pictures. I don't put too much emphasis on it. Okay. And the third one is that people don't genuinely give things a chance, you know, because it's... Ooh, they just took lights. <laughs> so anyway, people don't genuinely give things a chance. So if it's um, offline and you met someone, you would talk to them, get to know them. But online, you somehow expect it to be perfect. So... You're like, well, it's not perfect within the, you know, the first date. And then you've checked out and you're like, next. And you're like, next. You know, you treat it like a buffet instead of just really tasting each meal and understanding each person. You treat it like you can just go to the next one because it's online. And that's another mistake people make because people don't give people a chance. They just think it's, a, you know, on to the next, on to the next. So that's another mistake. People need to give things a chance to actually work, take effect, get to know people get to know them for who they really are, you know. Those are the three mistakes, in my opinion, that people make with online and offline dating. People uh, tend to be too specific, and people also tend to be too focused on the physical, on the picture, and people don't give people a chance, a genuine chance. So I think if you do watch these three aspects and go on your online or offline dating I feel like you should have like good success rate thank you guys for watching if there's any topic you need me to discuss let me know and I'll get on it thank you